there to the like Luxor where I, whatever event the MGM I think is where it was, and yeah they they were had us out in style. They were like, oh you finished the weekly limos out front, right? He's going right and back that, yeah, yeah it dude. was great. Yeah, Vegas, Vegas knows how to do it a little bit sometimes. So front events out there, make sure to go check it out. And if you're enjoying watching the Pound Stream is well here. I mean, you got a lot of the same people working on that event. So correct, correct. Make sure. Oh, we got Axe. This is a rare treat here for you guys. We're giving you guys a, a little bit of a taste of, of Axe here. And going to be a lot of questions here uh, in this run, right? Like, you know, what can Axe still do? You know, is there still, has he reached his ceiling as a competitor or can he still push the bounds of this character even further? Because there's no question, obviously, that he is not only a pioneer, but the, the overall master of this character. No one's better. Yeah. But how much further can he push it? He's and beaten some of the best in the world, but can he keep beating them? Barely missing out on top eight of Genesis last week in a heartbreaker last stock versus Mango. Yeah. Just basically got plot mangoed, but yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see here. You know, everybody's kind of out here for redemption a little bit. Axe is one of those players too, where you just can never underestimate him. You can never count him out, even though he is playing Pikachu. But him and Mango always seem to have great sets these, these these past few years, right? They have Axe and winning Summit. You know, I mean, man, it has been some uh, good years recently. And then also just we were talking about a pioneer of the character, but then a player like Tyler Swift, local boy. Um, absolutely is, oh, man, that was, was amazing. Amazing. Amazing play. Amazing snapping to the ledge. I mean, enjoy it. Enjoy it while he's here. Give this zip, man zip. his flowers. Zip, zip. But, uh, and then you have players like Tyler Swift who have taken a fairly different approach to the character and right. different tool sets and such. And if it wasn't for players like Axe, for, you know, players to look at, build off of, but then also say, hey, I don't think you're the only one who can do that. Because that's the, that's the route Tyler took. There's a lot of imitators and stuff too, but Axe is also such a motivator for people who want to go the other route and say, I want to be as good as you doing it my way. And if there wasn't Axe, I don't think Tyler would have even developed the opposite style as well. So I think that just like when you're talking about this character, Axe is maybe done more for Pikachu than anyone has for Definitely. any character up there with like Amza and Yoshi. It's like that. Certainly. You know, it's Axe is Pikachu. Yeah, Look at him. Pika, but, I Pika. but I respect the, uh, like you said, the innovators rather than the imitators. Those yeah. people who want to create their own mark with this character instead of just trying to copy Axe's style because nobody can do this like Axe. Exactly. He, there's a reason why he's the only man to come along and, and play a character like this, or the only person rather to come along and play a character like this, is because he's the only one that can do it. So if you want to play Pikachu, you've got to find your style, you've got to create your own path. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely watch those Axe Vods. <laughs> I hate to, I, you know, I, I do hate to keep always bringing, harping up on PP, but I've, I've just had a lot of conversations with him over the years about Melee, and, and a lot of the things he, he said has stuck with me, and it's like, it's, it's perfectly okay to have a favorite player, and it's even perfectly okay to just straight up steal the things they do. Just be sure to always be open-minded with it and, and putting your own twist on it and using trying to find new applications for these things. Yeah, and don't disregard your own thoughts either. Just because somebody might be a little bit better than you, you might have found something that works well for you and is genuinely works well too. I think sometimes players are so stuck on the fact that this game is already solved. There's nothing that I can learn or there's no adaptations I can make that are my own and such that... I mean, we, all, we always think that. Yeah. And then somebody like Amsa comes along, and somebody like an, a new axe or somebody like that comes along that shows us something new and interesting. And speaking of things that are working well for you, Fudge not doing too bad in this matchup, actually. Yeah, no, surprised that up smash didn't kill. We would have basically an even last stock here, but oh, getting grabbed by axe near the ledge oh, usually this doesn't is tough, end well. Huh? Wow. He did it like that, too. That was so crispy with the fan you can just see the look in fudge's eyes where he was like fudge. i was doing well what happened <laughs> yeah. to all my momentum yeah uh, za uh zapping the life and the momentum right out of falco there on the edge and you know it's one of those things where it's like once falco uses his jump he just sl starts sliding down that tier list so slightly and he just becomes so fragile all right, Fudge again. I mean, starting off strong too. Very nice I'd start for him. Very talk nice. about this in the um, my first block as well. Is that sometimes in those sets where it's close, especially somebody who's quote unquote underdog, um, in here not quote unquote, but in the sense of like you have a close game or you do well, it can be so easy to keep like we were talking about earlier, looking behind rather than forward and being like, oh, if this had just gone differently in the first yeah. game, I would be up 1-0. But that is when you will get absolutely blown. Up. Right. In the second game. It's not like Axe gets worse in the second game. Yeah, you it's have to. It's probably only going to get better if not play exactly the same. I That'd remember uh, I one time I had a pretty good game one against uh, Wiz and he, uh, Wizzy, and he SD'd on the last stock, and I was like, I'm up 
one oh on YC. <laughs> and then like I kind of let that get that moment get to me to the point where I was just getting blown out game two and game three and couldn't even concentrate. Yeah. So it's important to always be in the moment here. I think being a competitor in anything, whether it's competitive sports or gaming, chess, anything, you need a short term memory. If you make a blunder in chess, that blunder happened. If you want to win, you're gonna need to make up that ground and not keep thinking about it. If you play keeper and somebody scores a goal on you, if you're thinking about that when the next shot is taken, you're gonna miss that one too. And I think the same holds true for Smash Brothers, Melee, anything. And learning how to compete is a very useful skill in and of itself. 100%, 100%. Mastery of the self. And speaking of mastery of the self, I mean, I, I, I wasn't aware of Fudge before this set, but he's playing in a way that makes me say, I need to keep my eye on this guy. Because yeah. to play this well against Axe this early in the tournament Consistently. is nice. I mean, he's still hanging tough here. He's holding his own, and he's in this match. Yeah, and there hasn't been any egregious like blunders or anything on the side of Axe or vice versa, weird things. Right. Gone. This has just been very straight up Falco Pikachu. And quite a competitive match here between Fudge and Tempo Axe. I like the way Fudge has been playing his lasers too. He's making sure to ha when he is trying to pull up that gun, he's making sure there's enough space in between him so that Axe cannot just on reaction to the, the laser or the jump, close that distance, get a knockdown or something. Lasers are probably one of the hardest tools in the game to utilize well, um, right. while also being one of the strongest tools in the game. Yeah, exactly. There's a high ceiling there for the understanding of the character. and. You know, we're seeing that, you know, Mango, who acts as just coming off of playing at the highest level, that's what he does best. The thing that he does best is knowing when something is kind of like safe to do right in front of you and when it's not. Uh, and Fudge showing a very similar awareness of those lasers. But now the set is ticking away from him as we go down the hole. Oh, unfortunate. Stretch. Unfortunate. Yeah. Commentator's curse. We, yeah. we talked him up a little too much, you know. <laughs> Even though he couldn't. He's hear like, us, guys, I'm not that good. We were putting the energy out there for Fudge. I mean, honestly, though, very, very entertaining set there from Fudge. I mean, we were kind of getting away from it at the beginning, the first set, because we were just thinking we were kind of stuck in that motion of its round one pools. But that was a very, very interesting match yeah. for a round one pools match. Definitely. I must say, I must say. In in a uh, particularly, I feel like a matchup that takes a little bit more practice as well, and yeah. that's something that is not necessarily synonymous with early round pools is an understanding of the more you know less less thought out matchups for a lot of players yeah how many times have you heard from a homie of yours or something that like i lost in round three to a doc you know like i mean it's just something that you hear is that those characters you've got to be aware of that's one thing that i think netplay has done very much for the community is it's like it's giving you exposure and practice potential against characters that you never run across in your local scene uh, whether it's because your scene just doesn't have any Marths, like we were saying, if it's a good character, or a mid-tier like a Samus or a Doc or whatever, that characters that are definitely a threat, but only if you don't know yeah. their stuff. And it extends even past that, too, because now